one thing that is tr troubling me recently is, you know, it's as I was growing up, I realized, you know, I was in a school and then, you know, in a class of 30 or 40, maybe later on 60 students, you know, everybody goes, learns at, a, at their own phase, phase or phase, their own speed. So even in bhakti, I've seen over the years, some people go very fast, some people go like medium, and some people go tortoise, like, and sometimes I get suc succumbed to negativity. You know, I'm not going that fast, you know, I'm not, you know, progressing the way I should have been progressing. And uh, the negativity take is taking over my conscious. How do I not yield to that negativity and stay positive? It, it's, it's becoming really difficult sometimes. Well, part of it is redefining what the feeling is. Sometimes we talk about our feelings and we'll use words like negativity. You could be more precise. That helps. Also, when it comes to motivation, sometimes comparing what ourselves to others can be demotivating. Just to speak for that for a minute, comparison is uh, sometimes not so helpful. Because everyone has their own momentum. Every soul has a history. Everyone comes into the world with something written already. So you can't really compare. And I had this very interesting exercise in comparison the other day that showed me how comparing is, can be fraught with error. And that is uh, getting ready to paint our house. It's been a long time. And so I found a house in the neighborhood I like the color of. So I, we went over there and we found the proximate color of that house. It's kind of yellow. And I had my painter get that paint. He brought it back and put it on my house and it looks absolutely white. I said, that's not yellow, that's white. He said, no, actually it is the color. And he had the color chip on those sheets and he put some of the paint on there so you'd see it's the same. But in relationship to the yellow of my house, that's very bright yellow right now, it looked totally white. And I, I was embarrassed because I said, that's not, it's the wrong color. But then I, I realized it was because when you put one color next to another in isolation, it's really hard to tell the difference. And now I can see the difference. And it just made me think of how it's really sometimes shockingly inaccurate when we compare ourselves to other people. So one directive that Krishna gives in the Bhagavatam as far as feeling that we're not as far along as we wish we were is in the verse, Jatashada Makatasu, Nirvina Sarvakarmasu, Veda Dukat Makankamam, Prityagye Pyaganishvara. And in the verse, he says that <clears throat> there is a stage of devotional service where we want to be more advanced than we are. But we don't, somehow or other, we just don't have the wherewithal to do it. He, he recognizes that. He's a yet we recognize that we're involved in a lot of things we don't want to be involved in, but so we just we don't have yet the strength to give it up. And he says in the second half of the verse, He said, Don't worry, little Jiva, just keep going. You're doing the right thing. And then at the end he uses the word karyan, which means that it's that kind of dark feeling you're mentioning. Of You called it negativity. Krishna said, okay, you can have that, but not too much. The acharyas adjusted and they're 
just in their commentary and they say don't take too much of that only a, a tiny little bit to motivate you you know that motivation where you go at enough's enough i described it as the dave dibburn um, syndrome because when i was a kid my friend dave dibburn was a musician he wanted to play the flute really well and uh he got so frustrated with himself one fine summer night when my brother and I and my, our family were in our house, we heard somebody running up our front steps. And of course, you know, we were all friends. So Dave Dibbern just burst through the front door with his flute in his hand. And he had shaved off all his hair, which was something only somebody really crazy would do at that time in history because <laughs> hair was very coveted. And uh, he said, that's it. No more messing around. I'm going to learn to play the flute. And he went out the door, slammed the door, and ran back home. <laughs> I just remember that's how you do it. But you got to have some enthusiasm. And then you have to have this sense of enough's enough. That's it. Dave Dibbern came in and said, no more messing around. So that's helpful. And the thing about, well, I can't do it like other people, it's not so relative because... Birds fly in the, high, in the sky as high as they're able. But the sky's unlimited. Everyone can go higher. So it's more about your individual journey and your, your capacity right now. And just be sincere where you are. Krishna says it's a good quality if you do what you can do with what you have. Sve sve adhikarya nishta saguna parikirtita. That... If you do what you're capable, what your adhikari is right now, and you just sincerely try to do that, he said, guna, which means it's good. It's a good quality. So not to worry. Dear Srila Prabhupada, dear Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Sri Panchatapha, Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan, Sri Sri Lakshmana Shringadev, if you so desire, please let all the devotees in our community get enough rest. Let them eat really healthy food, get exercise every day, drink enough water, uh, have a good outlook on life, be kind friends to one another and help out in all circumstances. And please let us all be attracted to hearing Krishna Kata. And above all, let us have deep, deep compassion within our heart for all the fallen souls and help us to spread Krishna consciousness through Silicon Valley in such a way it will be indelible and generations to come will say that is the mainstay of the Hare Krishna movement right there in Silicon Valley. Please send us all facility and the intelligence to build something here that will glorify you and make you happy. Thank you for considering our request. Om Tat Sat. Everyone agrees with this prayer in whole or in part, please unmute and say Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.